taken credit for the destruction of the UK's most iconic building. The notorious world terrorist group has now carried out his threat to wage war against all five permanent members of the UN Security Council. It was a devastating attack on such an iconic monument. Many lives were lost. Officials suspect that the wolf pack had aid from the inside. It now seems that the only way to stop the wolf pack is to find what authorities have named the Alpha. The leader of this fanatic terrorist group has been linked to dozens of terror attacks across the world, notably the bombing of the Roman Colosseum and the Taj Mahal. We live in desperate times. Argon. I have a few questions for you. Where is Alf? I don't know. Oh, we think you do. I've been here five years. If I knew then, I don't anymore. Oh, yeah? Where was he five years ago? Don't you think I should have told <laughs> What's that racket? Classic death metal. Wouldn't well, an argument into it. Well, could you turn it down? We're about to be near bad ecstasy flashback. God, that means we're over young. Of course. Except the chaps I party with all winter hairbands. Yeah, no wonder the terrorists are kicking our ass. Speaking of terrorists, how's it going this cycle? Well, Argon is the one closest to uh, break, but the others, they are fraying at the edges. I'm happy to hear that. What with it being five years and all. Okay. There's one of me and a six of them, right? I speak for all of MI6 when I say you have our full support. But our partners aren't as sympathetic with that ratio, considering you drove off their interrogators. What, you mean the Americans? Well, they're the straw that stirs the drink, aren't they? But I mean, all of them. Even the Chinese are getting antsy. That's never a good sign. Well, I still think it's a bad idea to put a woman onto the station. It might excite the inmates, right? That was Rise's call, and I trust his judgment. Anything else? Be polite to the Americans when they get there. What? I'm always polite. I'm British.
docking in 74 minutes. See anything interesting en route? Just the hammer. Otherwise, same old, same old. I meant space junk, anything that uh, wouldn't show up on the radar. Why are you asking about space junk, huh? We've started tracking it for Rogue NASA. No space junk, Alex, okay? Take over. What, really? All right. <laughs> Catch you on the back nine, buddy. Yeah, over and out. Talk about feeling the power of the universe. Yeah. Exciting. You could find religion up here. Not in this space station. I don't think our captain shares your epiphanies. You think tugboat pilots have epiphanies every time they roll into port? I guess agency bean counters aren't big on epiphanies either, so I'm just out of luck. It's just as well. You were selected for your medical training, Doctor, not your illusions. I have no illusions about this place. Trust me. So tell us, Bridges, you've been coming up here, what, a year now? Is it really as bad as they say? All I know is the local population get their three squares delivered every month, along with the medical exam. Well, Kingsley's gonna give us a behind-the-scenes tour. You should tag along. I've learned something. We depart 12 hours after docking. Once I unload the supplies, I'm taking a siesta. Sure. See no evil, hear no evil. Wait until she meets Kingsley. We're still maintaining normal gravity? Yeah. All the stations and shuttles now come with a gravity regulator. Kind of knocks the fun out of space travel. That's it? You didn't do anything. I haven't done anything in almost a year. Remember when I said I'm just a tugboat pilot? Hey, at ease, Stone. Have to make sure the uh, connection module's secure, right, Bridges? Uh, we're secure. I have to confess, I, uh, not a big fan of these connected modules. Yeah. You get severe anxiety every time you walk through one. I read your chart. You're gonna vomit? No vomit on my boat. Oh, and one other thing. No running. Why? Well, you might puncture it. I think you Wow, you made it. Just open the damn hatch. Kingsley, we good. And you must be Dr. Stone. Welcome. Whoops. <laughs> so this is the hammer. Security is fully automated, so Staff contact is kept to a minimum. All interrogations occur from the bridge via speaker. 
The prisoners are given food packages and water once a day and change of clothes and hygiene supplies once a week. Once a week? The terrorist doctor. Each and every one of them's in the Hall of Fame. One of them brought down Big Ben. They're lucky we don't execute them. They never leave their cells? No, oh, yes, they went to the examination room. So they have no actual contact with any of the other staff? There is no other staff. They're all well, this and that box, and I am the keeper. We used to have three other guys on rotation, but they left early. Internal friction, wasn't it, Kingsley? And the program is better off for it, and it mitigates risk. Well, that's open to debate. No, not really. After all, I'm the one that came up with the program, and I am the one that has most experience of handling vermin like this. How long have you been up here? Oh, well, since the program was approved five years ago. On the zone? Oh, uh, Bridges, please. Please. Huh? Going on three. Look at how long the 9-11 terrorists were interrogated and how little they gave up. And they were suicide jockeys. These are six top members of the Wolf Pack. It's not like they're going to reveal everything they know. Look, all we care about is who their leader is and where he is. Yes, yes, yes. Alpha, alpha, alpha. I'm working on it, one layer of skin at a time. I'm going to unload the supplies. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff. Be careful. Let's get going. Where can I conduct my examination? Follow me. The facility is operated by key card only, so don't find yourselves in this part of the station without one. But don't worry. I'll be with you all the time. As long as you let me do my job. Yes, of course. There's only one restriction that I insist upon, though, and that is that you do not reveal anything about the station to the prisoners. What would I reveal? Oh, well, like there are other prisoners, for example. Does the Geneva Convention allow that? The Geneva Convention doesn't apply in space. Well, what about human decency? It's a black side stone. You can't get good intel if your prisoners are mentally unstable. Well, they were mentally unstable when I got them. Give us the grand tour later. I want to see the prison. Yes, yes, of course. I'll see you on the bridge later, when we're done. This way, please. So, don't you ring her. Are you serious? <laughs> that girl hates my guts. Yeah, probably only around half as much as she hates Kingsley's guts by now. That's why you brought her, right? You want her to trash this place in the report? Help you shut it down? Why would the agency want to do that, Bridges? You know, this program's supported by all the nations that help bring these animals to justice. Where else in the world do we work hand in hand with our enemies? I don't know. I've never been a spook. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's the tugboat pilot. This is the examination room? Mm-hmm. Looks more like a torture room. Well, it's an excuse space. Well, I'd like to start using it now. Okay, right now. Just remember that these men were all in different countries when they were captured, and from that moment, they had black hoods on their heads, up until they were locked in their cells here. So for five years, their entire world has consisted of the cells and this room. That's all we know. So let's keep it that way, all right?
this, my sweet lady, is to infamous Argan. Hello, Argan. I'm Dr. Stone. Yeah, he knows the drill. He knows the drill. Well, you can step outside then. <laughs> and hello. Now, oh, come on, Kingsley. I'm sure your hammer can handle two people in a windowless room. If you do not say we have a fart in this room, I will make sure that you scream so loudly that the whole world will hear you. Okay? I'm just gonna be outside. Enjoy yourself. What if he tries something? With his hands cuffed behind his back, and the guy who tortures you every day just outside the door? Oh, and in space? Yeah, well, if I was desperate enough, that wouldn't stop me. All right, so let's play it out. Stone's your hostage. Who do you negotiate with on a black side 250 miles above the Earth? Kingsley. Exactly. Anyway. We all signed expendables clauses in the contracts. This place gets overrun. Game over. Shit. What can you tell me about your injuries? I'm alone here. There's nothing else to do. Well, I don't know if I can help you, but believe me. You're not alone. I have a record of what they've done to me. It's my soul. I will give it to you. I have to get out of this place. I'm being tortured. All right, time's no. up. No! Oh! Ah! Why am I here? Why am I examining these men if they're here to be tortured? Torture? Don't bullshit me, Riser. I am definitely not in the mood. What the hell did she see back there? Just a result of enhanced interrogation, nothing else. I thought you interrogate from the bridge by a speaker. Well, all the procedures on this station has been approved by the governors, which is every nation that has captured one of those prisoners. I don't care who it is. I have documented burns, cuts, bruises, not to mention psychological torture. This prisoner, Argon, is on the verge of a mental collapse. And your report ought to reflect everything you've mentioned. You. We need to talk privately. I'll prep for departure. You want to explain what the fuck is going on here? No nonsense. I'll be back. I'm getting my kids. Okay, I'm here to assess. So what have you assessed sitting on the bridge so far? The one layer of skin at a time doesn't cut it after five years. Especially not when you factor in the cost of keeping this place functioning. But you already made up your mind before you came up here, and that's why you brought in Dr. Stone. Do you think I've spent five fucking years up here just to be shut down for some political agenda? You'll get your say. Dr. Stone's report will end this program just as badly as it will end me, and I will not go down quietly. You mark my words!
Argon. Argon, it's me, Dr. Stone. I don't have much time. Do you have the records? I cannot trust you. The records. They all I have. I need them now before they see us. You're just gonna have to trust me. Trust me. You, you, you said... You said I'm not alone. Did you mean that? Make sure you pick up some of that space junk on the way back. Chicks love junk. No one loves your junk, Alex. Wait, are we talking about the same thing? I'm here. Fuck off. Oh. Getting out of hell. Let's go. All right, we're ready to go whenever you and the doc. Where's Stone? I think she went to get her med kit. Uh, yeah, so she'll be back by now. Shit! Shit! Fuck! Fuck! They're out. What do you mean they're out? All of them? Yes, all of them. All right, seal them off. I have. I'll seal off the cell phone. Give me a video link. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Because the fucking cameras are malfunctioning. Because I didn't receive the fucking parts, all right? If you hadn't kept the whole thing on analog, we would have known he needed a fucking part. Jesus Christ, bridges, weapons. Here. So it doesn't have a cartridge. You got a cartridge? Kingsley, where are the fucking cartridges? They're in the power room. Just keep it. Give it up. Let's go. Come on. Bridges, come on. Let's go, kid. Hey, 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 Really? You used all of them? Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Let's go! no reprisals. I guarantee. We don't trust you, but we trust the Americans. Where's Dr. Stone? In a cell, secure and intact. So go get her. With pleasure. In exchange for our interrogator. And we also guarantee no reprisals. I got used to it. No! Get Get the fuck back! 
Get the door now! Go! Stop! Forget them. We know where they are. That'll hold? It better. Yeah, as long as the key card is in, it's all locked. Is it broken? It's not concerned. Bola, Doku, stand guard in case they try to come out. We'll split up. You go with him. See what you can do to set his arm. Be careful. We don't know anything about this place. If you find any more crew, kill them. Oh, what are you thinking? She went the wrong way, you fool. The bridge, the shuttle, is on the other side. Oh, yeah, you want me to let you out? Why, why, why didn't you fall back to the other side? Because stone's in one of these cells. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You took us the wrong way on purpose? Yeah, I didn't take you anywhere, man. We are bugging you, stupid bitch! What were you thinking? Hey, hey calm what? down, calm down. He hey. said that... He said what? What? I'm so sorry. Sorry's not gonna cut it, Stone. We gotta get out of here. Which won't be easy, thanks to your savior of there. Let me see it. That's it. Let's put it in a sling. Okay, so mission control is gonna know something's wrong when we don't leave on schedule, right? So how long till we send help? As soon as the Russians provide a rocket and a second shuttle with enough military to retake the space station, so <laughs> don't hold your breath. So you're just saying we should sit here and wait until they break in and kill us? Maybe they'll decide we have more value as hostages. <laughs> I'm not counting on it. Not the way their leader was talking. What's his name anyway? Argon. Argon. Wasn't he the one that you said was practically damaged? He didn't look too damaged when he took Kingsley's taser. Oh, you're gonna trust her diagnosis after everything that's happened? Apart from multiple burns and contusions, his mental deterioration stood out to me. What's your opinion, huh? Are you any closer to breaking him than the others? Obviously not. Where are you going with this, Bridges? Well, all your interrogations are on record, right? They must show something. He was breaking down. He, he, was, he was breaking down. He was... No need to amputate. Not yet. Don't worry, I'll let you know when it's time. There's no one else on board. I've checked every possible place, except this one. Argon was in space. Where did the three Americans come from? A shuttle for sure. All these years, and it was us with the Brit. Each of us alone with the Brit. No matter what strength in your heart. I know what kept me going. We'll settle accounts with him soon enough. We're gonna need all three as hostages for a while anyway. Let's go then. First, check the area for anything we can use as a weapon.
Who brought him in, Riser? We did. Found him in London. MI6 didn't even have a fucking clue. And who is he? The Wolf Pack head of propaganda in Western Europe. No. Why would the head of propaganda in Western Europe immediately become their leader? And why would he pretend to be cracking if he actually wasn't? Come on, we might die up here because mistakes have been made. We deserve to know who we're up against. I mean, really up against. He's Alpha, isn't he? Head of the Wolf Pack. And you had him the whole time. It's over. It's over. <sighs> yeah, he's alpha. ISS. Mission control to ISS. Mission control to bridges. Do copy. Re-entry is now officially delayed. You guys can make it off there in the next 10 minutes. We can get you down. How long have you known? About three and a half years. Three and a half years? It was strictly need to know, all right? Who do you need to know more than me? What the fuck have I been doing the last three years? Trying to learn the whereabouts of Alpha, obviously. But when we found out who we had, other priorities took precedence. You're like not looking stupid? No, it was more than that. This program allowed us the, the type of surveillance system we could only dream of before. I was. <laughs> Do you think you can wipe me off for three and a half years and just get away with it? It's not like you didn't have a chance, is it? You didn't crack any of them. Riser, you are not going to ruin my reputation. Kingsley! Kingsley! Smart guy like that? Nah, he had a plan. What do you think he was trying to do? Give a heads up to mission control. This is what I do. All right, obviously the wolf pack have got control of the bridge. Are there any other comms on board? Station's guts are in the power room. We just gotta have a basic link, right? Okay. Well, all we need now is some weapons because that son of a bitch took the fucking taser! Shit! We're gonna need something to use as a shield. So your name is Kingsley. You are alpha. It was you. Why do you think I pretend to crumble? So you could focus your efforts in me instead of one of the others. Because you don't trust them. Because I'm the leader. What are we going to do with him? Huh? Any ideas? I have many ideas. <laughs> Five years, the worst of them. <laughs> Me too. A lot of them come from you. <laughs> mm. 
Pull off your fingernails. Oh. 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 Slowly, slowly. Slowly. Then insert them all beneath your eyelids. Forget the Brit. I, sp I spent years winning the Russians, trust me. Let them recruit me, sponsor me through flights class. All along, I've dreamt of piloting a fighter bomber all over Russia and leveling it as they did to our lands. But we're here. We could have died, we could have anything, but we're here. All that time, all that pain, that's... God, God spared us. God strengthened us for a better purpose, a bigger purpose. I know why we're still alive so we can pilot this ship. You check in there, I'll go in here. Anything you can find. A couple in the cells. Ah, oh, dang stone. Earlier, some of the things Kings and Arise said. Do I owe you? I'll let you know when it's over. I want to apologize for treating you like one of them. I figured an astronaut must be pretty gung ho. Oh, I used to be. Back in my rogue NASA days, flight training anyway. By the time it was my turn to pilot my own ship, the government decommissioned the program. So now I'm a tugboat pilot. Shuttling dames and assholes into a black side prison I couldn't even tell anyone about. Yeah. That knocked the gung-ho right out of me. What you got? It's not perfect, but it'll do. Lieutenant 
tell me the odds, Riser. Well, there's six of them and three of us, if we don't count Kingsley. Yeah, those aren't the worst odds. Except for them being terrorist superstars and us being a doc, an analyst, and... and a tugboat pilot? It shouldn't be too difficult getting into the power room. And then all we gotta do is get past those two out there. And hold them off and get the word back. Hey, piece of cake. So, you learn any special moves over in Quantico you can teach us on the fly? Nothing you're classified for. What about you, Stone? You were a squid once? Yeah. The only fight training I had was 10 years ago in boot camp. But I can't tell you from my medical exams on them, but they've definitely paid a price for their time up here. Well, Bola looked pretty healthy to me. Yeah. They're incredibly healthy considering what they've been through. But they all exercise like fanatics and manage to keep their minds focused. Yeah, well, being a fanatic, I'll do that to you. Still, some things are unavoidable. Like loss of bone density, Ibex elbow snap like a twig, and the vision's impaired due to excess fluid in their heads. You see, I was hoping you were gonna say they're all dying from cosmic radiation, but it's good to know. So who are these guys anyway, Riser? It'd be good to know exactly who we're up against. Well, you want a rundown of each one of them? Well, we ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Neither are they. So we can land the shuttle anywhere? Anywhere with a long enough runway. Long enough runway and friendly enough security. <laughs> then why are we still here? Because we can do better than that. We can use the space station as a missile, a guided missile. But you said it's in orbit and without a power source. We have a power source, the shuttle. We knock it out of orbit by firing the shuttle engines just before the couple. It sure would be nice to have it crash where we want it to. Maybe we can uh, convince the Brit to help us with the station system. Okay, so Argon planted the charges that brought down Big Ben, killed all the civilians and cops on the scene, all while directing operations for the Wolf Pack. <laughs> well, who else they got? Well, the Zerdris. I guess you call him the intellectual of the bunch. As opposed to a fighter? No, they're all fighters. You gotta earn your stripes in that group. He's wolf packed like the rest of them, but he went to school in Moscow. So he's intelligent. And in what? Mathematics, aeronautics. Graduated from the Russian Federation Flight Academy. Wait. Any mention of a place called Star City? Yeah. Why? because then he knows how to fly this shuttle. Does it still power the entire station? How long is it going to take before Idris can take off? He could be gone already. That is unacceptable. Look, if you have a way to reel them back if they've taken off, I'm all ears. But in the meantime, what do you say we come up with a plan? Don't have time for a fucking plan. What are you talking about? You want us to just charge out there? Do you have any idea who you help release? All right, half the dirty dozen. We get it. Now, if they've already taken off, we contact Mission Control, we blow them out of the sky. Well, what if something goes wrong like it already has? I'll say it again. The exposure for the United States is unacceptable. Yeah, but do you mean the escape or the fact that you had Alpha all along and didn't say anything? The 
doesn't matter what I think. Are you coming? Or am I going alone? Kingsley tried the solo act. Didn't work out too well for him. We stick together, but we come up with a plan first. Like I said, I don't have time for a plan. Only one question left to answer, and you'd rather cripple the other hand? Think about it. Just answer the fucking question! Just let it ride so that she can tell. Good. Good. <laughs> do is use the, the shuttle as a sort of tugboat. Pull the station slowly enough into the atmosphere so that it doesn't burn up and re-entry. How close to the target do we have to be before we decouple and watch the station crash into Moscow? Yeah. I know once we re-enter the atmosphere. To get in there, we watch the Brits. I wonder how the Americans will explain what went wrong with their team or something. <laughs> God willing, there will be other missiles flying after this one. No offense, Stone, but if they zap me and Riser with those tasers, you're not going to stop them on your own. does it make? They're not getting out of here alive anyway. Guys, we got no time for this. Let's move! Oh. I let you down, not again. More like time was today. Like all of us. You did this part. You did what you could. Now you're here, still armed. There are only three of them. And a woman is a doctor, not a fighter. We only have to keep them out of the shuttle. And these controls, the men get close, overwhelm them, and finish them off.
Working? Yeah. Comms. Right to say. Mission Control, this is Bridges. Do you read me? Mission Control, this is Bridges. Do you read me? Where have you been, dude? I haven't been able to reach you from. Alex, we have a problem. So contact us. That's what we're here for. Why are you changing all the reentry coordinates? I'm not the one who's changing them. Wolf pack has broken out and taken control of the hammer. One of them knows how to buy the shuttle. Holy shit. You better get the officer on duty. No kidding. <laughs> Woo! Wolf pack shuttle to Wolf pack station. Wolf pack shuttle to Wolf pack space station. All systems go. What? No! Bridges, I'm Commander Hammonds. Bridges, what's going on? The wolf pack's taking control of the space station. How's that even possible? Where are you calling from? The shuttle? A link in the station power room. It appears they control the shuttle, too. All right. Hang tight. Why are the communications back on? It's on the cycle. Turn them off again. Your initial orders are to hold tight until further instruction. Fuck! Fuck, they cut the link from the bridge. Shit. We lost it. We'll try to raise them again. But first, disable the shuttle. What the hell was that? Shuttle's engine starting. Are they taking off already? No. I think we're still attached. Look. Too late. Some calls. Right. We gotta move. And do what? Stop whatever it is they're up to. Look, we haven't reached the kamikaze stage just yet. At least I've not. Listen, Bridges, you got a better idea. Now would be the time to say it. Kingsley's still alive, and we can free him. We could learn a whole lot more. You see, that's more like it. And if we find their key man, we take him out. Argon? No. Idris. I programmed the reentry. It's optimized for speed, so. We're gonna sweat a little once we're back in the atmosphere. Small price. When do we cut the station loose ready for Moscow? 74 minutes. Intruders! Go back to the sun. Go! 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 Ah! Ah! Come on! Huh? 
Moscow. Moscow. They're flying to Moscow? Uh, uh, in, into Moscow. W with the station. How could they fly the station into Moscow? By leaving it attached to the shuttle. Did it just initiate re entry? Kingsley! Kingsley! Still, when you want to take a look at that cut. Whatever happened to the Hippocratic Oath, Doctor? Huh? You want to know what's the risk if this space station hits Moscow? World War Three. Best case scenario, they shoot this station out of the sky, and the U.S. gets the blame for all of it. I swore an oath that neither of those things would ever happen. What? You swore an oath against bad publicity? Look, you brought me up here as a whistleblower. I get that now. But why would the program want to do that? The international security apparatus we wanted has been established, financed equally by all the governors for once. All that could happen now is someone found out that Argon was Alpha. Could have been Kingsley. Could have been one of our partners on the ground with the intel that they had. So we shut this thing down for cause, and we bury those six fuckers under the runway when we land. Remember you brought a whistleblower along? Yeah, I remember. In the meantime, clock's ticking. This thing is headed straight for Moscow. So let's get back on point, huh? 
Anything more from Reiser? Anything more from... I don't have any reason to not think he's responsible either. Responsibility obviously lies with Kingsley. Now you're just picking sides. Who's in charge out there? Where is Patain? We can't reach him. Maybe out for the evening. Fucking friends. It doesn't matter. We have a quorum. I see two questions that need to be answered. One, what are we going to do about this? And two, who gets the blame? I know what we do about it. And I know who gets the blame. How long do you think we got till it's too late to do anything? Depends. Based on when we felt the engine kick in, a control re-entry could have us back in Moscow in, say, 60 minutes. 60 minutes? I can work with that. Yeah, but taking into account that Idris is flying the shuttle, it could be sooner. And it could be later. Let's stay positive. Either way, we're aboard a bomb heading for the Earth. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And they know that. What if you offer to take everyone down safely? Come on, Stone. These are world-class fanatics. They want to see the world burn. I'm sure they want to live through it. It's not going to work. Why not? Because those guys are not afraid to die, Stone. Well, I don't plan on sitting around and waiting to die. Don't you think it might be at least worth running it past them before we all go charging in there head first? Well, good luck, Teddy Rexman. Maybe they'll give you the torture records they promised you as well. You're welcome to try. We know what your plan is. But we must know there's no way to survive it. So I want to propose a truce. Bridges can land us all safely and no one has to die. And what happens to us then? You will slit our throats. You'll be in a better position than you are now. How could I know this is not a trick? Because I took a big risk coming to your cell. Yes, you did. And I'm sure your friends regret it. Why should I trust them? Because they don't want to die. And once we're on the ground, no one's going to keep me quiet about what went on up here. Send your pilot over here before I change my mind. How do I know you won't kill him? You're just going to have to trust me. What are you going to accomplish by crashing us into Moscow? Or into the middle of the ocean if the wind shifts? Countless innocent people could die, and no one will ever know you were up here. Isn't there more to be gained by shining a light on what was going on up here in the dark? Think about it. Once we tear the lid off this program, you'll have a chance to make your case to the whole world. Tell them the injustice you've endured. You're just trying to help yourself, Dr. Stone. You're credit to your country, to humanism. Very idealistic and very rational. That is a powerful combination. And yet, all you propose that we agree that nothing is more important than staying alive, which, if you think about it rationally, is no different than the way the wildest beast or the lowest insect functions. We believe in something, Dr. Stone. Something greater than eating sushi, drinking vodka, and driving electric cars that will feed village in Africa. We're willing to die for it, willing to kill for it. I don't know what that makes us other than martyrs, but I do know it ranks us above you, animals. Stone. You know, for a minute there, I thought you had him. 
You got a better idea, Riser? I'm all ears. You know, Oregon had a point, though. It's dog eat dog now. I'm not exactly rising to the occasion, am I? You're rising to the occasion just fine. If anything, you are lethal with those foam pads. Are you making fun of me? Not at all. I saw the way you pounced on that asshole. Look, there's now two of them, three of us, and we couldn't have done that without you. You're a tough woman. You don't forget that. Yeah, enough with the pep talk. We're running out of time. They're animals. Yes, they are. But knowing that doesn't help us. They're desperate. And they're afraid. Because they don't want to die. Our task is simple. Keep them out of the shuttle for 30 more minutes. Victory brings all the revenge we need. What the hell was that? We just locked all the cell doors. Fuck you, Kingsley. Even after death, you find a way to fucking complicate my life. All right, back to plan one. Stone tried diplomacy. You have managed to stab or slit your way through all of our bargaining chips. They have a projectile taser, and we got no access to foam now. How do we not let that sink us? By making sure it's me who gets hit. Gives you guys a chance to gut those bastards. I owe you. I like it. All right. Stone takes one for the team, and you and I rush him. You sure you can handle it? Yes, you're sure about it. I think I can make something to give us an edge. Come through. Make sure you have a clear shot. Easy. Who's in charge of security? Who designed the security? You're Mr. Kingsley. Well, that is exactly where I'm placing the blame. A mass breakout should have been impossible. Now, what do we do about the situation? Sending a commando team, it's too expensive. Hemmings. Hang tight while I share the news. They've rerouted the shot and it's heading straight for Moscow. As of now, the space station's still attached. Could both station and shuttle reach the city? It's a distinct possibility. Then we blow them up off the sky right now. Never taught you how to make urine bombs in the core. Devil dogs don't fuck with this. You know, well, this is my science fair project. Different strokes for different folks, huh? Did you win? Well, the whole process took a few weeks back in Iowa. But thanks to modern technology and the effects of deep space, we're good to go. So how much of a bang are we expecting one of these things to give off anyway? Well, considering we jerry-rigged blasting caps using substitute minerals, we'd be lucky if one of them goes off. Away! It's a shake and bake process. All right, come on, let's do this.
Can you feel it? We're moments away. Come on, American! Dance with me! Come on, American! Impact in four minutes. Incoming projectile detected. Impact imminent. Impact imminent. No! You gotta go after Razor! Incoming. 
deploying projectile detected. Impact imminent. You're not getting in there, you piece of shit. What the hell are you gonna do, Doctor? You gonna kill me? <laughs> you ain't gonna do shit. <sighs> Standing on couple and the wrist too big at the station hits the city. I'm gonna have to reverse direction, ramp up the speed to max, and then on couple. If everything works out, never mind, just do it. Already oh, yeah. Missile took out the space station. And it seems two of the Americans survived in the shuttle. Not Riser. Not Riser. <sighs> ah, see? I told you you were tough. <laughs> Engaging autopilot. 